Legends, sponsored by CallJacob.com. Take me back to that moment when you found out you got traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. How did you feel? Man, it, it was unreal. It was one of those things that, you know, the Laker franchise, the Laker history, being able to say you actually played for that team and that happened during the middle of a season. Coming from uh, Cleveland, obviously, uh, going into what I already knew, kind of midway in the season, what the Lakers had going on, it was it was breathtaking. It was, it was one of those moments I'll never forget. To know that a team wanted you and was seeking you out, that must have been incredibly validating as well. It's, it's crazy because my first triple-double when I was in Milwaukee was versus the Lakers. And I'll never forget it because once I got traded to the Lakers, I, I remember Meta, he was like, man, I've been told him to get you because I got the triple-double against the Lakers. It was just crazy and it was one of those stories I, I'll never forget again. Take me through your, your first uh, few days in Los Angeles. Did you have a relationship yep. with the city beforehand? Did you know how to get around? I remember I landed, I got in the car from the airport, went to the hotel, did physicals, did everything, had a game that night. Chuck Person picked me up uh, in the car from the hotel, had the playbook, we in the back going over different stuff on my way to the arena. It was, it was, it was crazy to play the same night. I don't even know how it happened. What a whirlwind, and then you get to the game, and now your teammate is the late, great Kobe Bryant. Tell me about your first meetings with Kobe when he was your teammate, because I would imagine his energy changed a little bit as opposed to when you would play against him. Man, I mean, I'll never forget when that moment. Um, I remember my locker where was positioned at. I remember his locker was positioned at. Like, I mean, I would be lying if I didn't say I watched him out the corner of my eye every time he moved. Like, it was just one of those things to be in, in, in that spirit, in the place with him, just of greatness. Um, it can't, I can't explain enough how, how I felt when I actually kind of just got to see him and obviously play with him on the court. What is it about the purple and gold jersey? Just brought out the best in you, man. I mean, that's that's what the Laker Nation do to you. If, if not, you're going to hear about it. Um, it's one of those things that, no, nah, it was just being surrounded with Cole, Meta, Powell, Bynum. Uh, you had Matt Barnes coming off the bench. Like, I mean, you got no choice but to kind of, you know, give it all you had. And I was just, I was locked in. Like, those guys made it so easy for me because they was getting all the attention. Like, people wasn't really worrying about me, so I was just filling in the gaps and, you know, finding my finding my way as they were so occupied with those guys. I would imagine that the Laker name and being a Laker has stayed with you. You could be in some airport or you could be on some Zoom call and it'll somehow come up, even though it was a short moment in time yeah. in your career. So how does the Laker legacy play a part in your life and career today? No, it's one of those things that it just, it validates you to a degree to where like Laker Nation is real. Like, you know, all the other fans in the NBA are great, but it's just something about the Laker Nation, the Laker history, you know, like the fans are, some of the best fans and this it's all over the world it's not just in la in the space i'm in now obviously being an agent obviously people are going to remember me from my laker time more than anything just because that that's what it is and just imagine i was with the lakers think about this a half of a season during a lockout year it was a short time like just i wish i could have stayed for two or three years i might have some i might have some prime real estate in la from somebody how much they love me for the short time but no it, it was great man i'll never forget it and just you know some of the great stories to be able to play with cole obviously rest in peace and just to be a part of that man it's it's it's, it's something that i really cherish